Hello Maker, I'm Aiden and I'm here with Apollo and Macy and we're going to be discussing the three P's. These come up in every Maker class and we're just going to be reviewing them. So could you guys tell me what the three P's are? So the first P of the three P's is pre-production. This is um, just gathering supplies and brainstorming, just getting prepared to begin your project. Production is the next P in the three P's. Um, production is basically doing your project. You're like, you already have all your materials and everything and you're actually doing it now. Um, the final P is post-production. This is cleanup and um, editing and just really making sure that your project is to your liking before you finish it off. Could you guys give me some examples of the three P's in your personal projects? Yeah, so um, I know laser cutting is a popular project in Makery, so for that, pre-production might be thinking about what you're, what you're going to laser cut and then going on to Google and finding your image or drawing out what you are going to laser cut. Uh, production would be sending that to Miss Thatcher and putting that into the laser cutter and it cuts it out and then post-production would be waxing it and whatever else you wanted to do to it. I do a lot of photography and I'm really interested in film and makery so pre-production for me would look a lot like uh, gathering ideas, um, planning out preparation for shooting and then production would look like shooting video or pictures and you know, settings for those, or just really um, creating my project. And then post production is editing, or clipping, or just cleanup before I put my creations out. Cool. So, um, can you guys tell me about uh, how the three P's got into Makery and uh, how uh, we started using it? Mr. Cool was the one that brought the three P's into Makery. Before, there wasn't a clearly defined process for students' projects. So now that we have it, it helps students um, understand the process of their projects. Every semester, we actually use the three Ps uh, in an end of the semester project that every student has to participate in to showcase uh, all their work and everything they've done, and also to showcase how they use the three Ps and how it helped them. Um, and actually, without really realizing it, a lot of people use the three Ps in their everyday life, like uh, getting ready to go to school or to work and then coming home and unreadying yourself. That's a, I would say that's a lot like a pre-production, production and post-production if without realizing it. Thank you Apollo and Macy, and this was a great way to break down the three Ps. I hope this was really helpful for you in your makery class and in your semester. Thank you for watching.